where there is no rule of law, there is no citizenship. The doctrine of citizenship as it is found in Nigeria is premised on the fact that you are a member of a tribal group and or a member of a religious order. We do not have a template that is blind to ethnicity or religiosity in determining the rights of those who are trapped in this space and are euphemistically referred to as citizens. There is a relationship between the rule of law and the sanctity of citizenship. You really cannot speak to citizenship when the rule of law is absent. The rule of law is that leveler that says, irrespective of your office or whose son or daughter you are, all citizens are equal in the high of the law. It is only the supremacy of the law that counts. We're saying that the state and the citizens are beholden to the law and the law reigns supreme without fear or favor. By contrast, where the law is wholly dependent on the subjective interpretation of one man, where the law is what a man says, we cannot speak of citizenship. To cite an example, in what universe is it okay for the convoy of the army chief to kill over 450 persons that are believed or are lied to that they are citizens? That was Buratai in, Zam in, Ka Ka Zaria. in Zaria. Yeah, yeah. There are some citizens that is very, so these are citizens that they are sworn and they are under, they, they've sworn under oath to protect, they swore to protect these persons. Yet in this aberration of nationhood, the murders could be justified because these were Shia Muslims, not Sunni Muslims. We haven't come around to talking about the horrible thing that took place at Lekki Tollgate, rightly called a massacre by the panel set up by the government itself, where citizens were killed in broad daylight. Yet we speak of citizens of, in such a country, citizens, law protected persons for whose lives the state has an obligation to give an account. Let me remind you, in South Africa, in spite of the fact that they had an apartheid regime in place, the persons living there could not be killed with the kind of impunity that has been visited on the Nigerian, governed by fellow Nigerians and not in, not in an apartheid state. A country where a policeman, an agent of the state, can brag that he will shoot you and nothing will happen, and he's merely telling you the truth. Where the president declares, blightly, he declares and determines a thing, and it happens. It's the imperator. We can build a coastal road without public bidding, we can do what we like, we can build a road at, I think, 4 billion per kilometer. That is the country where we are living. Where the country, the president is more or less like the sultan. He reigns with impunity. It is nothing short of a centralized monopolization of power. Nothing short of it. There is no citizenship in this space. We are therefore dealing with a situation where the rule of law has overtaken, where the rule of men the impunity of men, it has overtaken the rule of law, and the Nigerian is left with a delusion called citizenship.